Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. On this episode, I'm gonna take you guys with me to a private house show that I played in Dallas, Texas back in June. Now, y'all, I had been looking forward to this show for months, months and months. So you can imagine the level of anxiety that I had it was just through the roof whenever I threw my back out four days before the show. <laughs> literally, literally could not walk. So yeah, let's get into it. Y'all come on. So like I said, I performed this house show back in June in Dallas. And this one was really fun because I brought with me my friend Garrett Bradford. And Garrett is just a good old boy from Texas and he is a phenomenal singer songwriter. He's a bunch of fun, but y'all might recognize his name from a song that he wrote called This Way of Life. And it was featured on my favorite show, Yellowstone. And I know what y'all are thinking. Emily, did you just name drop a little bit? Yes, I did. Because it's awesome. Are you kidding me? If I had a show on Yellowstone, I'd tell everybody all the time. But I don't. So I'd brag about my friends. <laughs> Anyways. Throwing out my back four days before the show made getting ready for the show really hard because I couldn't walk. <laughs> I could not walk. Honestly, y'all, I was just absolutely sick to my stomach with worry over the fact that there was a really big possibility that I might not be able to perform. It sucked so bad. So we got there on Friday and then Saturday we did a ton of massage therapy and physical therapy just to try to get my back to chill out. And so then by Saturday night, I was able to get up and walk around and be mobile. I did still have to use pillows for my back while I was sitting down, but I did not care, y'all. I did not care. All right, it's success. Uh, got all my pillows, heating pad, shoes ready to put on. Let's go. I was, you know, I was just happy that I could perform and do my job. It's never been this tough. They were me, they moved to town. They say there ain't no use in trying. And that our way of life is dying. <laughs> I ain't George Strait. <laughs> The show went really, really well. It was so much fun. We had a blast. Come on, Nova. Come on, Jeffrey. We had a blast and I really love doing private house shows like that because it's such an intimate setting and you get to meet everybody and talk to everybody. They get to experience the Nashville songwriters, writers round type of setting where you get to tell the behind the scenes story of why you wrote the song and you know, the stories behind the songs. So I really liked that. It was really fun. So after I got back from Dallas, I immediately started doing physical therapy because your girl needed it bad. So I started that with star physical therapy. And then simultaneously I was training at Chadwick's performance and fitness 
focusing on strength and mobility training. Thankfully, I found a really good team to get me back up and running and in performance shape so that I can get back on stage doing what I love, singing songs for you guys, and get me back in the saddle riding and roping. I just wanted to take you guys along for the ride. Let's do that too. So pull the belly button in, tie in it, hold it for five seconds, and then relax, okay? We're gonna do about 10 of those. This is legitimately hard. Yeah. When Emily first came in to Chadwick, she was kind of looking for a long-term sustainable solution with her back injury. So when she first came in, she was having trouble even doing exercise in general. So I was able to use some mind-body connection and neurological stuff to reset some of that messaging because her body had had trauma. So we wanted to fix that. And so we made a lot of progress. And then since then, she's kind of had a little bit of a setback with an injury. We're kind of going back in from the same spot we did originally, resetting that and different things to help stabilize with her back, engaging her core, those types of things. So that way she can get back to going and doing like she was and then even excel even more to accomplish her goals with riding horses and being on stage and having a long career without having to deal with all of the uh, injuries and nagging stuff that comes along with doing that. I'm feeling better and better every single day. It is a process like anything else, but I'm just, I'm just really glad to have such a good team of people to be working with. Thank you guys again so much for being part of this journey. I'm just getting started with this channel, so I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with what I've got going on. For booking and all other inquiries, visit my website at emilyelginmusic.com. And you can find my music on any streaming platform. And again, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all down the road.